Welcome back to 843 TV. We are now joined by Carrie Dillon, who is the host of the Bluffton News on WHHI TV and a couple of our other programs. Carrie, thanks for being here today. I'm so glad to be here with you all today. So um, the Bluffton News, uh, it's a great program. We're thrilled to have you as the anchor. How did, that, uh, how did you become involved with WHHI and the Bluffton News? It was really sort of this whole organic thing that happened. And um, I was contacted by Debbie Court, and she invited me to take part in Girl Talk to yes. talk about um, some of my, my jewelry design. And then I was invited back to do some other hosting. And then I just sort of haphazardly said, you know, um, this is really fun. Girl Talk is sexy at every time. Every time. <laughs> There's so, this is really fun. And um, so I was invited back to be on the panel of Girl Talk and I said, well, you know, maybe is there more that I could do? And mm -hmm. she said they might actually be looking for an anchor because the, the current anchor was, was talking about perhaps moving out of town. Mm -hmm. And so I hounded Wayne. I just jumped <laughs> on that horn and I, I just hounded Wayne, the station manager, until he let me in the door and auditioned and it kind of happened. And um, from there, I've been able to jump in and, and um, host some other segments from time to time mm -hmm. when you all need a substitute. Yep. Or, and it has just been, a, I'm living my dream. All oh, right. <laughs> so I'm so curious. We already know that I love Bluffton. <laughs> what inspires you about the Bluffton area? Bluffton is booming. There is so much happening in Bluffton right now. It is, and the diversity of the community is really what excites me. There are all kinds of new businesses that are just cropping up and then we're hearing about them. And then as you were talking about earlier in the program, the chamber, we have this incredible healthy chamber that just will just going strong and grab those folks who are just starting off or people who are existing and just get them in the mix and help make Bluffton more of what Bluffton is. It just <laughs> has this unique sensibility to it that is like nowhere else in the world. It's hard to describe. You know, people ask me all the time, they're like, well, describe where you live. I'm like, I can't. You it's, just have to come. It's the magic. You just it have is. to experience it. You know, Bluffton is a state of mind. It you is. You just have to experience Bluffton. I thought Bluffton. that was a perfect tag, because yeah. mm -hmm. that's exactly how I felt. Yeah. So what stories and happenings will we hear about for the second half of 2015? One of the things that excites me the most is staying close to the chamber and what they have going on. There's always an interesting business report. There are ribbon-cutting ceremonies. And one of the things I'm most excited about is really embracing our blossoming Hispanic community. Mm -hmm. it, it is just so healthy and rife with opportunity and um, hopefully we'll be able to add a little segment on the, the Bluffton News coming up this year um, that's going to be a, a Hispanic based programming and I'm just thrilled about that. I'll be learning Spanish as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still struggling with that part. <laughs> I'm struggling with English as well. Yeah, I know, that's me. Fair, why not do, do Spanish as well? Exactly. <laughs> well you mentioned earlier that you are an artist. Yes. And I'm I'm assuming by your beautiful jewelry that you have on that that might be your your thing. Tell everybody a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm um, Carrie Dillon Designs. I kind of started um, uh, about 15 years ago sort of making jewelry as a hobby and I came out of the gates with it at my first show about a year and a half ago and um, so I have a, a, a space in a little shop on Calhoun Street 45 Calhoun which is Linda's on Calhoun which is a salon boutique and I rent a little space there it's this magical little store Miss and sweet. she's her fabulous <laughs> she is just so much fun and so this season is all about layering there's just lots and lots of layering going on this season and um, and I've recently been painting a lot too. And so those paintings are becoming other items as well. Like this one became a cuff bracelet. That's very cool. And I'm making pillows and some household items. So it's sort of like. I have to go check that out <laughs> since I have do. a blank slate now to start with. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm nuts about rocks. I'm just crazy about rocks. And do you paint rocks? No, I play with them. I just, I put them. I, oh, you I, know, I, I, that sounds really random. But my mom, <laughs> that is FYI. In case you're wondering why my mom started doing doing that and it was really cool because my mom makes jewelry and all that stuff too so it's fun but so you mentioned you like working with rocks are there any other material that you focus with your jewelry is it uh, specifically metals precious metals what, what do you like to specifically primarily work with? Stones, stones healing stones I like mm -hmm. having a healing aspect in my work and and something I love your that, ring. that uh, thank you um, things that you can just sort of worry 
you know, we're yeah. in those stones. <laughs> and they just feel really good on your skin. They're very soothing, they're very calming. And um, and this little one is a, a portal. That I've been doing some nautical stuff lately. Yeah. And so oh, this I love you can check your lipstick with this one. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so you keep an eye well. out, nobody knows you're doing it, right? <laughs> very subtle, check your lipstick. Do you have, um, so where is your stuff available then? It's at CaraDillon.com, okay. as well as I sell to a couple of different stores locally, and um, and at, of course, Linda's on Calhoun, which is at 45 Calhoun Street, and I'm there almost every day, so mm -hmm. just swing on by, and, and there's a lot of other great stuff at Linda's, too. Is that something you've been uh, doing for a while and just decided to move in professionally in the last year and a half, or were you inspired recently? Well, I met Linda at a show, mm -hmm. and she she had been uh, had a salon out in Harbortown, and then this whole space sort of opened up in Bluffton, mm -hmm. and I just decided to give it a shot. We've only been there since January. We're one of the newest shops there on Calhoun Street at 45 Calhoun, and it has worked out magically. I was scared to death to yeah. do it, you know, <laughs> but um, it's my first time ever having a studio showroom so I work right there and um, oh, so you actually make your stuff there I make it right there oh that's awesome Very yeah cool. and so a lot of customizing mm -hmm. stuff it has to like with jewelry it has to you have to be able to put it on by yourself without having an anxiety attack <laughs> exactly. right <laughs> needing a magnifying glass exactly an assistant. I do make magnifying glass necklaces though <laughs> I need it and it has to just fall perfectly on you and so co-designing with people and um, and customizing is like one of my favorite things to do and it sounds like fashion and functionality as well, right? Exactly. <laughs> well, Carrie, exactly. Carrie, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching 843 TV. Where communities come to speak.